Turning now to politics, we're hearing from the attorney general for the first time since the historic indictment of Donald Trump and the unsubstantiated attacks from the former president and his supporters that the Biden administration directed Jack Smith to file charges. We get more now from CBS's Robert Costa. As former President Trump continues to falsely claim that President Biden is directing cases for the Justice Department, Crooked Joe Biden's weaponized Department of Injustice. Attorney General Merrick Garland today defended appointing special counsel Jack Smith and touted his department's independence. As I said when I appointed uh, Mr. Smith, I did so because it underscores the Justice Department's commitment to both independence and accountability. One day after the historic arraignment on charges, including illegally hoarding classified documents at his Florida estate, Trump and his legal team are arguing he was allowed to take the documents after leaving the White House. Under the Presidential Records Act, which is civil, not criminal, I had every right to have these documents. It's an absolute right. This is the law. But according to the National Archives, the Presidential Records Act requires that all records created by presidents be turned over to the National Archives at the end of their administrations. Legal scholars say the Trump team's assertion will likely not fare well in court. The reason why this argument is so hard to make that these are personal records and not presidential records or agency records is because they're classified documents on their face. They're literally created by another agency with classified information. On the campaign trail, some Republicans now say Trump can defend himself. I can't defend what is alleged in this indictment, but the president's entitled to his day in court. And Robert Costa joins us now, both back from Miami. <laughs> How is this shaking up the presidential contest? Tonight, Nora, my top Republican sources say that Trump's rivals on the GOP side, they sense some vulnerability because of Trump's piling up legal challenges. But on fundraising and energy, they do see a lot of command still with Trump camp Trump's campaign. In fact, his campaign now claims to have raised over $6 million since he was indicted. Robert Costa, thank you.